Vision Plus, a program featuring a positive outlook, dealing with everyday situations of marriage, children, and business with challenges and opportunities. Believing Philippians 4.13, you and I can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Teacher, author, speaker, delighting audiences from New York to Sacramento with a heart and message for the people today. Here's Bonnie Liphart. Hello and welcome again. This is Bonnie Liphart. I'm over here talking to Sandra Pickens. I hope some of you got to see her in an earlier program. That would be great if you did. Uh, we are going to talk about how to deal with Sandra. Say all those big words of what your children have. Well, the diseases. we're not sure. Oh, we're okay. Sure. Give me some of at the words. At one point, they at one point they uh, the Called doctors thought that it might be familial or hereditary spastic paraparesis, but it has been determined that it is probably not that. It's from, from a measles shot it's or from a having a shot chicken and the chicken pox, and it is a, a degeneration of the neuromuscular system. Uh, based through the autoimmune system. So it's an autoimmune degenerative uh, disease that has affected the neuromuscular system. Now here's two boys that uh, one took measles shots at age six mm -hmm. to go to school. The, me the shots that are required. Because required. School. But you know, he's now 35 years old. Exactly. And so uh, that would have been 29 years mm -hmm. ago. They used live That's vaccine right. then. That's right. And uh, Dr. Manning Gomez, who was chief of pediatrics at Mayo's at the time. Mayo Clinic yes, in, in Rochester, Min Minnesota, Rochester, Minnesota. Told us that he was not sure whether it was the measles virus or whether it was the live virus that the measles inoculation was in. But he believed that accelerated, activated and accelerated uh, a degenerative situation, mm -hmm. which to affect the autoimmune system sounds logical, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. And then um, he did tell us, warned us not to let our younger son, who was only a month old when Paul had his measles shot, not to have any childhood immunizations, which he did not. But unfortunately, he um, got the chicken pox. Contracted chicken. He contracted or acquired the chicken pox when he was in junior high. And, and so that's a dangerous age, especially yes, it is. for boys. Yes, it is. It really is, because maybe had he had chicken pox at age five, you four, know, or five four or five, four or five, it might have been mm -hmm. a different situation. It's very serious when they're grown mm -hmm. too. But you know, there's such a big controversy. Just recently, on the morning ABC, NBC, or ZBS, mm -hmm. I'm not sure which program, they were discussing this about uh, now. There is so serious because there have been. So many cases mm -hmm. of people who took measles shots, mm -hmm. whooping cough, uh, mm -hmm. chicken pox immunization, and even the flu is giving people, uh, is making them mm -hmm. sick where they don't mm -hmm. re uh, recover from mm -hmm. that, that they are now making the parents, or cons they're considering making mm -hmm. the parents, make that decision, do you want us to give your child mm -hmm. a shot? And you got a sign. Well, my goodness, when my kids mm -hmm. were in the first grade, I wouldn't have had the foggiest. Mm -hmm. I, would, the, I didn't either. I mean, I wouldn't know mm -hmm. whether to tell them to have the mm -hmm. uh, the shots or not. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd think, of what's the best for my and, child? And it was not, you know, uh, in fact, our pediatrician was very concerned that we might blame him. But my goodness, it wasn't his fault. He was trying to do what was best for the child. And, uh, and so were we. But that's uh, where a lot of the mm -hmm. lawsuits come from mm -hmm. is where the parent is angry and right. just uh, sues the medical Everybody's profession. got to have a dog to kick. Yeah. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and Sandra, sometimes uh, maybe they do would, there would be occasions where right. they needed to be sued. I think there are but occasions. But I, I have my, one of my very dearest friend in the whole world, Dr. Charles Patterson, is a medical doctor, mm -hmm. and he and his wife uh, she's a nurse mm -hmm. or works with them. I think she's higher up than what nurses are, but I can't remember mm -hmm. all the words. But she, I 
think that everything they do is for the best interest mm -hmm. of the patient. Mm -hmm. They would never in the farthest part of their imagination mm -hmm. do in something. In most cases. In most cases. In most cases. Now, when you get into a situation where there's research and there's grants for research and all of those kinds of things, it, the politics then become involved. And it could be that they're, think they're looking more at the numbers than they are at the patient. I think that possibility exists. Was well, there uh, any grants instances. we could get to study yours? One of the things that I wanted to say is I want to cover two things. Okay. Please allow me. Please don't let me forget that okay. that's what we're going to okay. Number one, I'm just trying to think about myself. I was the fourth in a family. Mm -hmm. If I had known that in my future, six years from now, I might be suffering like my older siblings, mm -hmm. like John must have mm -hmm. felt when Paul was, mm -hmm. now he's a wheelchair bound, then he's bed mm -hmm. bound. and the different stages. And, and I have seen both these boys, and I wish you had brought pictures. I didn't think I of that. I should have done that. We'll do that at another mm -hmm. time, but they are so handsome. Yes, they I are. I mean, they are very dark eyebrows, dark hair. Oh, man, just just handsome They're guys. Handsome young men. I mean, I knew I met a girl that really liked John in mm -hmm. high school mm -hmm. and asked about him, mm -hmm. in fact. So here's these two incredibly handsome young men. And intelligent. And intelligent and young men. And talented. <laughs> and talented and gifted. Mm -hmm. Now here's John yeah, knowing that his this may be his future or probably is mm -hmm. going to be his future. How did he cope with that? Uh, did he know the Lord Jesus Christ? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, both of them did. Yes, I both of them did. John is more of a fighter. In fact, his favorite, his favorite scripture is 2 Timothy, where uh, the Lord, you know, it speaks about having to uh, fight the battle with courage mm -hmm. uh, or being a good soldier. Mm -hmm. um, but when he was four, he had a, an ulcer. And that was because every night he was so distressed that his brother could not play with him, run and play with him. Mm -hmm. And he would cry every night when I would finish reading to him and, and, you know, would be lying there with him. He would just cry and say, Mommy, when is Paul going to be able to run and play with me? And, um, but and, and Paul would have been about 10. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Um, but Paul, and he was on the loft strand crutches, and for those who do not know, those are those crutches that you see in the poster children, you yes. know, that fit around the arms, and, uh, and uh, was very, had a very difficult time getting around. But John is, he is really m my hero because he faced uh, his known future um, with bravery. He tried to enjoy all that he could enjoy. He was... Um, he and went to the high school. He went to high um, school. He was in the key club. He, uh, thanks to a good friend of his, Lee Conway, he was able to participate in a lot of uh, school activities he might have been not been able to have uh, participated. And in. He was, was a football manager, mm -hmm. you know, and, and earned a letter, you know, earned a letter jacket, and um, just all of those things. He went to the prom too. I think he, he went to the senior, prom. Senior he prom. went to. He went to. Uh, and he had been ill since junior high. Yes, he had been ill. Now since was he in uh, wheelchairs or uh, walking? He with went a cane to. At that he time? went to a scooter. I put both of the boys on a scooter when they went were in high school because that had less. Um, of the connotation, connotation. Mm -hmm. of uh, disability, and and of course everybody wanted to ride on the scooter. Oh yes, oh yes. So John was in the scooter in the. I'm tempted grade. every time I go in Walmart. Now, <laughs> yeah. Let me just get in this little dude. <laughs> right, right. Well, John. When my mom was 96. Yeah, she still wouldn't she get, still get, in, wouldn't get no. in it. But uh, John went to the scooter in the 11th grade to go between classes and to go out on the football field and that sort of thing. But he could still walk at home, and he could still hold on, and he had to have support, but he could still be up and around. Now, when he was in college, he got to finish one year of college and start the second year. But when he was in college, he began to crawl instead of walk, but he still used a scooter when he was out anywhere, but he was still mobile at home. In fact, he was mobile until he had the back lift and pump put in, and he went in surgery mobile, came out of surgery immobile. Oh, that would be so that sad. Was a, that has been that a was a sad day was, for him and day. for Mama. Yes, it and was Daddy. a very sad day. Mm -hmm. I know it was. I just remember one little statement that I want to say that okay. you had said that one time. You said, Paul, if you could have anything in the world, what mm -hmm. would you like to have? Mm -hmm. And he said, 
I would like to be able to get to on my knees get on my and knees pray. And pray. That's my right. My own knees. My, in my own bed. knees. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think another time he said, if I could just brush my own teeth. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when we take these things so much for granted, oh, I'm telling you, we need to meet a Sandra Pickens and let her know, let uh, others know what she's been through and what well, she deals I, with. Well, I, I, I I've just been there, um, really, I, I'm still able to get around and do all those things. My sons are the ones that I think deserve so much acclamation because they've not lost faith in God. They don't believe God has deserted them. Um, they look, you know, they, they expect, uh, whether it is as Paul says, my son Paul says, in this life or the next one, they expect to walk it again and be, you know, um, they're doing so. But they're mm -hmm. many amazing mm -hmm. things. They might be walking here. There's I mean, there a could be a healing. Well, in fact, uh, there could be a healing. And in fact, um, when I, I took John up to Mayo's in '97, uh, Dr. Patterson, who all of our doctors retired on us. So we had to get new doctors, but the doctor how Patterson. How dare them get old? Yeah, how dare them? How dare them get old? But uh, well, of course they didn't expect either one of my sons to live to be twenty, and here we've got Paul at thirty-five and John at twenty-nine. 29. Um, but uh, Dr. Patterson had indicated that he believed that if I could keep them healthy, and um, do doing as well as we're doing now, that maybe within the next five to eight years due to all of the splicing of genes and the DNA alterations and all of the things that are rapidly coming down the pike mm -hmm. that um, we might be able to at least give them, improve their quality of life. Mm -hmm. What do they enjoy doing? Because I know they're bright young they're men. They're very bright. In fact, uh, they're, uh, they were always ahead of their uh, years and ahead of their, uh, you know, and their IQ was, was good. Um, they both enjoy keeping up with what's going on. They both vote. They vote absentee ballots cool. for every election. Mm -hmm. um, Were they happy here in Alabama? Um, well, you know. Well, hey, you didn't bring uh, liquor into Hartzell. <laughs> We don't vote in Hart, so we live outside the city limits. Oh, so we are not allowed to vote in there. Oh, no, okay. No. Um, but um, both of them enjoy music. Mm -hmm. Paul likes a wide spectrum of music. He likes everything from classical to to uh, uh, bluegrass. He loves quartet. He loves Bill Gaither. And J.D. Sumner was his very favorite of all time. He loves music. Um, he doesn't see very well. The, the disease has affected his eyes, but he listens to a lot of things. And then he likes those old sitcoms from the 50s and the 60s and the early 70s. He's he my kind of guy. Yeah, he is. And he loves his dad and, and my style of music from the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. And he's an avid Elvis fan. And uh, John uh, likes uh, music, but he is more limited in what he likes. And he loves dr uh, car races. Oh, right. And they both love mm -hmm. football. NASCAR. Mm -hmm. races. NASCAR. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and. Well, and you know, they're coming out with so many read. computers. It's amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't come out with one they could breathe into. Uh, well, uh, whatever. Uh, there is one. There is something similar to that. In fact, there is a professor at Oxford in England mm -hmm. who teaches, who does have something along that Which line. Which is where you're getting Which your. Which is where I'm getting my. Your doctorate. And I was supposed to speak. In January, however, I didn't get a, my pro, my paper didn't get approved just as of yesterday. Well, unless it just I needs can some be some revision. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's. Mm -hmm. But I did enjoy going over to Oxford and did graduate from Oxford mm -hmm. Graduate School, and that's one thing we were going to ask her about. Yes, she is now a doctoral student at Oxford Graduate School. Will be going. Well, originally, where you were going in January. To uh, I was, but I'm not. You're now. not now, mm -hmm. unless mm -hmm. some major mm -hmm. changes unless happen. Unless some major yeah. cha changes mm -hmm. happen. But uh, you will be going over there, and that's the advantage of Ox year. Oxford mm -hmm. Graduate School, is that so much of the work can be done at home. That's it. And in fact, that was the thing that intrigued me about uh, Oxford is, number one, it's got a good uh, Christian foundational base. And the other thing was that I can go once a quarter and get all of my assignments, spend one week, that's not too long to be away from my children, and also with the, with the right kind of help. 
and also it exercises my brain. And when you're do when you're when you're when you're uh, isolated in a homebound situation, your brain becomes dull. It doesn't matter how many books you read. I'm an avid reader, and how many magazines and how many word puzzles you work in that sort of thing. You need something more than that. So that was one of the things that I decided. One of the main reasons I decided to uh, go to Oxford, and I would like for everybody to check Oxford out. Absolute. Just because look oxnet dot oxnet dot com dot mm -hmm. com. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. OGS dot com. Mm -hmm. I think they got. Mm -hmm. And you can find uh, download all the programs oh, yes. and everything. So mm -hmm. it's it's really been mm -hmm. a it's, godsend. It really is a godsend. And mm -hmm. uh, and you work at your own time schedule. Yeah, I actually I was getting my doctorate and took five year leave mm -hmm. and then went back because I decided I just can't stand starting something I don't mm -hmm. finish mm -hmm. and Tony my husband encouraged yes, me to go Bob ahead and finish, me. To mm -hmm. finish that and so I did. And it's been very much a lot of fun in fact I was doing a research on uh, I think you'll get the Nobel Prize. <laughs> no not uh, but this one I was doing just really I was going to turn in a paper but I was also doing it for my own uh, knowledge a uh, comparison of Judaism, Islam, and uh, Christianity before 9-11. Mm -hmm. I would not have been even thinking about doing that had I not been at OGS. Mm -hmm. So, right. uh, it, And I did a really in-depth study about the relationship, uh, n well, it was how television, mm -hmm. internet, and video games affect the relationship between parent and child and did uh, the extensive study of actually getting people to turn their television off and do other activities mm -hmm. one night a week and so forth. You know, I had a certain thing. Have you published that? Uh, actually, it has been published. Right. And also, we did document mm -hmm. that this was, as we all know a it does. scientific study, of course we Yes, do. we know it, but this is documented. That's wonderful. That we saw improvement when you take time mm -hmm. with your children, one that's night what children and, want. Yes, it that is. is exactly what they children want. They want it so very mm -hmm. much. Well, you got a lot of time with your children. Yes, I do, and I'm very blessed. And I, I, I well, at least you know where they are. Every night. I know There's where they are. Of us. I had one of my daughters was lost for a year mm -hmm. and just took off and ran away and was lost. Typical and young person. <laughs> 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 and so at least you know where they are. But I don't. Uh, know exactly how you do just can keep on keeping on it is absolutely I cannot take any credit for it. it is absolutely my faith and the grace through through my faith that is it absolutely has to be that because when I think about the last 30 years of my life and and mine and Bob's life mm -hmm. um, we had goals set and anticipations and all of those sorts of things and I think about all of that, and I think, you know, none of the plans that we made came to fruition. But, you know, is that true? Because you now own your home. You built your home. Well, we owned the property, though. Bob owned the property when we got married. Of course, we have some other property. But, but I'm thinking in terms of non-financial. I'm thinking in terms of, of, you know, what we had hoped to do. Because I know you couple. did actually own the franchise for the protocol for mm -hmm. international mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. You got that. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Um... I mean, was it you senior know, you, moment? I'm it, having a senior sensational. Moment. It's an, a it's sensational, called a sensational moment, moment now. <laughs> but uh, Washington I, School of Protocol. Yeah, yeah. and uh, but that's where you teach people how to treat uh, people mm -hmm. from any from country. Children, uh, yes, in the international and mm -hmm. in the international arena, but mm -hmm. also just also local. Uh, mm -hmm. which fort to pick up, mm -hmm. I guess, mm -hmm. and then how yeah. to act in a business that's situation. That's right, that's we, right. We still do some of that, too. Mm -hmm. so. I think a lot, of, a lot of different programs have that incorporated now, thank mm -hmm. goodness. Yes, there seems to be a, a hunger for a return to that. Right. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's such a hunger for the graces of yes. nostalgia. Yes. You see the more feminine clothes mm -hmm. that women are wearing and so forth. So uh, you're right in tune by doing that, yes. but you're a little bit busy with your own Yes, I'm, I, am t I do not do anything outside uh, now professionally at all. I am... Uh, I'm at home. Just go get her doctorate, come <laughs> be on television, just do nothing professionally, well, writing <laughs> almost all the time, yes. and going to edit my paper to see why I was not accepted to go to England and speak. I'm still upset yes, about I that. I just found that out today. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said to, for me to send it to the Reader's Digest that it was a perfect article for the re or it sounded like a television interview. Now, why would that be? Why true? would that be when you have <laughs> all these years of that? I did a lot of research mm -hmm. because I was doing about. Uh, the influence, the pre and post repatriation of the German prisoners of war in the United States, and the influence of the uh, Geneva Conference, because they like big long mm -hmm. titles. Mm -hmm. And one said it was too long, one said it was just right. So don't ask well, too much. Personalities of yeah. professors. Because it's a from a book called Bonnie and the German Prisoners of War, because mm -hmm. now I'm going to tell my age. I actually did my, they had 100,000 of them come to mm -hmm. the United States, 20,000 came to the state I was in at the time, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. 50 a week would come to my dad's farm, and I was the, I was the girl that oh, took really? the water to him at age okay. six years old. So, and I'm writing about those memories. Of, I was an eyewitness back mm -hmm. in the older days. But what happened was the incredible uh, relationship of the European countries, especially Germany mm -hmm. and the United States, in the next decade after the mm -hmm. Second World War. Mm -hmm. So, it, and it was because people like my mother baked sweet potatoes, and my grandma churned creamy butter, and they saved, mm -hmm. they served them all they could eat. Mm -hmm. We'll go into that another oh, time. That would be yeah, an okay. interesting yeah. story. Yeah. Okay, back to your study at Oxford University, mm -hmm. uh, Oxford Graduate School. What are you studying? Health education. And, and what, are you, what is your actual focus? You narrowed it down to a focus I have yet? got a couple. Well, I, you know, I've got this creative your dissertation. mind, so I've got a lot of different things, and I'm, I'm um, looking at two different things, one of which uh, I hope I don't have to do a study in, but I will if necessary. Uh, some states, even though the uh, donor organization, the organ donor, mm -hmm. national organ donor group, say that you, that the, the donor does not have to incur any expenses. Um, when I, I had a, a relative who passed away uh, with uh, brain cancer who had donated his organs, but his family was going to have to pay for those organs to be removed. And you kidding me? No. That I was didn't in know that. That was in Oklahoma. And uh, so when I went to Texas... I can't believe I didn't know that. That was in Oklahoma. Because I've got it on, right on my card. Mm -hmm. Right. I wasn't worried well, about it. Well, in Alabama, I think in Alabama... On my uh, driver's it, license. It, I have checked, and in Alabama, supposedly, um, the, the donor does not have to incur any expenses. But now in Texas, when I... In Oklahoma. Had, in Oklahoma, they did, and in Texas as well. When I, or at least that was the way year, last year when I had my last surgery, because I asked the question. Because you had your surgery in Houston. I had my surgery both in Houston, them. both of them. And I asked the question when they were asking me if I was a donor. I said, does my family have to incur the expense? And she said, unfortunately, they don't tell you this, but yes. And I said, then no, I'm not a donor because I have two sons who do not need me to give up dollars and cents, mm -hmm. which, which I want to, that will be, would be one of my research projects if. Um, that is the dumbest law I ever it heard It is of. dumb. And then the other thing that I had thought So we about, need to change that. That's right. Hey, you know what? We can change things. That's right. Because when we were in the state of Arkansas, and I w had a mm -hmm. television show, interviewed 5,000 people anyway, one of the things was some, in some counties, mm -hmm. 111 percent of the population, that's babies, right, total voted, population, 111 percent voted. 111 percent yeah. voted. How Do you think there's a little bit yeah. of poll tax? I think there's a little think bit of cranking in there. So what we did, we single-handedly got voting machines in because mm -hmm. that was a way that we could mm -hmm. start. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I know you can get things oh, yes, done. One that. person, yes. Madeline O'Hara, got prayer Perhaps out of schools, schools in 1962. And my daughter was over in Russia when they had a big, uh, it was a big, like a trade show, we would call it here. And there was a booth where she had that booth, and my daughter had a booth giving out Bibles. There was not one human being around Madeline O'Hara's booth, and they were just swarming around to get Bibles and tracts and so forth. Mm -hmm. But But my point is that somebody can have an idea, and if they can do it on the bad end, mm -hmm. we can do it on the Absolutely. good end. Absolutely. So we can get that That's taken right. out and, but and changed. The, the research needs to be done to find out, at least out of the 50 states, what the, what the requirements are. Now, 
uh, and like I said, that's one of my focuses. One of my real sad things inside of me was when my daughter passed away, they asked, well, got killed when a car mm -hmm. hit her and she's crossing the street, but she, uh, she was a grown person, and asked me if we wanted to give the Mm -hmm. the, uh, organs and my son I couldn't think I absolutely not. could not think and my son well said she didn't ever mention it so we're not going to do that because we didn't know her idea mm -hmm. but I have been sad ever mm -hmm. since then because she was a healthy person yes, and she could have given, could have given mm -hmm. um, all mm -hmm. different kinds mm -hmm. of, of organs and eyes and eyes, eyes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. well in fact they said that was her main thing mm -hmm. because she was so bungled up that that mm -hmm. might have been the only mm -hmm. thing that would have been good but uh, but that's been a sad thing, yes. and I think. I'd love to know if somebody's walking around with her eyes and her liver right. and her uh -huh. heart and her kidneys and so forth. So uh, that's, a, that's a sad thing, but the, that's something we have to So mm -hmm. you want to do the research, I want find to do out some where research it is. On that. And Unless also, graduate school is a vehicle, it's the vehicle you can to use mm -hmm. to get to, to get, get that the, to, to get the and true then facts. Go out and mm -hmm have the funding oh, to get it absolutely. done. Absolutely. We can absolutely. do the funding to get uh, mm -hmm. TV23 and Michael and Kimberly Lee to mm -hmm. have money to get whatever kind of cameras they need. That is right. We're going to make it really we're, so awesome. Right. They've had some miracles, but uh, we need a few more. Mm -hmm. And you know what we're going to have to do, Sandra? We are actually going to have to have you back again because we have not completed all I want to talk about. So let's just recap some of the things. Okay. Why don't you recap what we've done in, in the last two 30-minute shows okay. as far as uh, what happened to your family mm -hmm. and uh, what you, how you've dealt with it? Well, I think probably to best describe what happened with my family, if uh, Shakespeare were writing it, okay. it would be a, a play of tragedy. But since it was written by, Jesus, by, by God Almighty and Jesus Christ, it is a love story. And it's a story of uh, great praise. And it's a story that, that uh, has the love of God and the perseverance of Christ. And I'm very blessed. And I appreciate you having me and letting me share my story with so many other people because I know there are probably other mothers out there who are going through those periods of, of um, being sort of desperate, too desperate to pray because their child is has suffering. some kind of uh, suffering. Mm -hmm. A disease that is That's incurable, incurable, mm -hmm. and you don't really know uh, what the future holds That's for right. yourself. In addition right. to them, unless God does a miracle That's and they right. come out. But the best something. advice that I would be able to give is not just enjoy today. I would break it down and enjoy the moment and find yes. joy in the moment. And those moments add up to days. They make memories and then they add up to weeks and to years. Mm -hmm. And that's what you've been able that's to do. That's what I've been able been to do. By enjoying the moment. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Sandra Pickens is an author of art articles and forthcoming books and getting her doctorate, and she <laughs> is keeping that mind active. So we don't have any lethargy in Sandra Pickens. Do not want Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> don't have time. Don't do have we? time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just have to keep going, eating right foods and that's exercising right. and... Mm -hmm. Uh, keeping yourself, the, uh, finding joy in the mm -hmm. moment, finding joy and knowing that, that positive God will never leave no. you, nor forsake you, That's right. and that He is with you uh, all, at all times. I want to say that we're going to have on a future program a person named Bonnie Nelson. Bonnie is uh, was a country and western singer, is a gospel singer, and uh, she is one that you'll enjoy her uh, her. Everything about her also, like we have Sandra Pickens. We're also going to have another person, Inger Taylor. You know a person that's named Taylor. That's my maiden name. Can't be all bad. So she's going to be telling us about how she overcame some anger when her father, when she was five years old, committed suicide, and how for 25 years she was angry and didn't realize it. So that's going to be quite a story for each of us to learn is how to overcome anger when something has that we've been dealing with for a long time. I'm Bonnie Libhart, and along with Sandra Pickens, we do have uh, books and tapes, and uh, I do want to tell you about these one of these days for sure. Uh, this one that's supposed to be, sh that possibly is shown today is Putting It Together Again, how you go about putting together things that have happened to you in your lifetime 
whether it's a tragedy like a disease that Sandra Pickens boys have and how that family stayed together to uh, one that each one of us know of from uh, divorce, death, bankruptcy and all the things that can happen to us but we know one that has us in the palm of his hand and that's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for joining us and if you do want to get in touch with us for a donation to the network uh, for television or to order any of the uh, articles that we have and books and tapes then contact us through a toll free number 877-823-6886 I'm Bonnie Libhart along with Sandra Pickens. Bless your heart for watching.